pineapple under the pineapple under the pineapple under the Hey guys, welcome to another guide of mine. This one is about uh, KO on Icebox. I'm gonna be basically showing you how to play first on defense and then on attack. That's basically how I do it. You can obviously find your own ways to do it, but this is all the lineups that I use when I play and uh, all the plays that I like to do. So yeah, without further ado, hope you enjoy. About KO's uh, mechanics and uh, flashes, how they work, I already went into depth on that uh, on my previous video. It's on the Fracture Guide, you can check it out, it's going to be in the description. Uh, so on this one I'm not going to be touching on that, I'll just be showing everything. Starting off, I really like to play KO between Kitchen and um, A area at the start, because I have the lineups to basically spot the information on B. So you basically either come here, you aim the edge of this into the corner, you just throw. This one is unbreakable, it lands on top of Garrosh and gets all the info on B. Takes a bit of time to land, but you, normally you catch most of the people unless they TP or uh, jet up the refs across. Or you can use the other knife, which is a lot faster, but uh, keep in mind they might start avoiding it. You just land at the beginning of the barrier here on top of the ramp and you just aim at this antenna here. And it's gonna land on top as well. It's not really breakable and uh, gets all the info instantly. So, these are the two knives I usually use at the beginning to gather information. And if I'm not using one of these two knives, then I use the one on A when I throw it just here in the belt. Or I just save it so I can cancel out the drone uh, or anything similar. So these are basically the knives I use every round. There's also this one if you want to use it from time to time. I do not recommend this one often because it's breakable, it lands there. Um, but if, you know, if you want to mix it up a little bit and play towards A, it's a good knife to throw once or twice a game. Uh, but in general, if you just want to save your knife, you might want to save it for a Sova drone. So you hear them droning A, you throw it either into Nest or you throw it here. It's pretty solid to cancel out the drone and it's pretty high value if you do. But other than that, you don't really need knife anywhere else uh, towards A. You can also have this line up flash. Uh, you just go towards here, aim towards this line and it should be a pretty perfect pop flash. And the other flash that I have is from Rafters. This one is a little risky though, because you're hella open. So I recommend this one only for the early round. Uh, if you have a duelist on pipes or something similar, you just aim somewhere in this area. Doesn't really matter where, as long as it's not too far right to bounce off this. So as long as it's like in this square here, uh, you just run forward and throw and it's gonna be a little deeper. But remember this one is uh, only used early round because people below pipes could punish you because it pops a little further deep. So. Coordinate this with your Jets, Serenas, and, you know, get some free flags for them. But other than that, you don't really need, need much more utility on A, uh, other than maybe a grenade for generator or for default. So the one for generator, you just stand in the corner here, you aim here. It's basically it, like you, you line this up here in the middle of the gray thingy, and it's just gonna land on generator. And then there's the other one, which is basically for default. This one's a little tricky though, because I, I just line it up like this. I don't know how to explain it. So it's just this edge right here has to be a little bit below the line. And this one has to align with this. I don't really know where else to line it up. So you just throw it like this. It has to bounce off the roof a little bit. You might want to adjust this one if you find a better lineup. Let me know that down below. Um, but yeah, this one lands on default. So these are basically all the lineups that I have for A. Nothing too special. I also wing a lot of stuff. If, for example, you have a Viper wall up here, you can also just throw it like this and it's gonna pop right behind it. And that also enables your teammates to push. But that's basically all the stuff I have towards early game, middle uh, round. So this is basically all towards A. Moving towards B, uh, it's, not, it's pretty simple for me. So basically the lineups I have is, this is the knife one. Uh, you aim this part of the HUD into the cross here. So you just put it in the middle, it's gonna land on yellow. And this one is for default. So these are the two lineups that I have from there. So one is for default, even in case they plant, if you wanna delay them. This one is for yellow, that's basically everything. And you combine those two with a flash. And there's also a third option. So basically you do these two, and then you flash high after the knife lands. So wait, okay, Vi Vi Viper all gets taken down by surprise. And these guys are blind by the flash. So all you have to do with the flash is just throw it high. You don't need to do anything special, no lineup, no jumping. Just aim somewhere here. It's not gonna get you and it gets them. So this is basically how you fight here. But if you wanna do a combo where the enemy Viper Wall is here, if it's up, you, you just throw the knife first. And then you come into this edge here. And you do a little running throw between this and this. So basically somewhere in the middle of this and you aim at this height. And you just do a little running forward, forward throw. It's gonna land on yellow. So the combination that I can do as well, you throw the knife, do it a little faster, you know, you gotta drill this. You come here, you throw the nade, you step back, 
throw a flash high. When it all lands, wall is down, nades gets there, the flash is high. So they either stand in a nade or they, you know, uh, pick into your flash. So either way, it's a good combo for you. It's very strong to fight. The flash I also have for yellow is if you stand just at this corner. This is if you have a teammate here and people are coming main. You just aim towards this antenna and go so far left that it basically lines up with this box here. Somewhere in this area, either way, it's, it's uh, good. You don't need to do anything like super special. It's just approximately like this anything works and this one basically blinds the entire uh, b main because it pops so high so the same somewhere like this you can see it pops here so whatever is lower here upper it all gets blinded it's pretty hard to dodge so if you want to enable your teammates to pick like this this is also a good flash or you can just wing one from stone when you just gotta you know for example use a ping ping here okay 36 meters run forward throw this is also a pretty decent flash if you just wing it so Anything like that just works. So these are all the lineups basically that I use here. Uh, you might also want to surprise people sometimes on B. Because if you do, for example, the knife up here for like six rounds in a row from kitchen. And you all of a sudden decide, okay, I want to push B main. If you do this knife here, a lot of the times they will not even notice that you did a different knife. So you can still do the same knife. Basically, it, it reveals the same area. And you can just walk forward. And they might not expect you because, oh, it's a knife that he does like six times in a row. So this is also like... A little trick that I use, uh, but this is like once or twice a game, not more, or not even once a game sometimes. So, depends on how you feel it. But this is basically everything you need to know about my defense side on Icebox. Uh, hope this is helpful. Moving on to attack, I have quite a bit of lineups here, so I'm gonna try to speed run it. Uh, first one begins here. So, a lot of them uh, for BR here. So, the first one is yellow. You take this part of the HUD, the little line, and you put it in the corner here, and this one just goes to yellow. And the second one, you take this um, part of the HUD and you put it on the blue line here. And this one lands on site. So uh, memorize these two. This one's here. This one's here. One lands on yellow, one lands on site. So one's here, one's here. Those are the most, uh, you know, bread and butter knives. You're going to be using this all the time. But they also have a lineup from here in case you want to fake stuff. So you just go in this corner at the beginning of the round. And you take this line and you take it on this little edge of the thingy up here. So just put it here. This is how you aim it. Um, this is go straight to yellow. And the other one is this line of the HUD. You put it, well, between those two lines. Like this. So just memorize these two as well. Uh, this is for yellow. This is for sight. And if you really want to uh, complicate your life, <laughs> this little line right here in the corner here also goes to B main in case you want to try this one so it lands on top of here in case you're like teammates are being slow and you just want to take B main um, but yeah these are the five lineups that you uh, that I must learn this these are the things I have to have uh, if I want to play normally so this is like basically the way I play the game I don't know for example I like to use this knife tell my teammates okay go for B and I'm gonna wait on A in case they push you know because they see four teammates they see your knife okay all five B let's push behind uh, but in case you're just like, haha, surprise, and you're actually lurking around. Not a, not many teams are fans of lurking chaos, but uh, you know, this is not what we teach here. Uh, the way I usually play though is if I don't do those knives over towards B, um, I just like to flash here at the beginning of the round and tell my Sova to you know do a recon here so they don't break it, or um, you can also do a running throw. For example, if your jet wants to, wants to updraft, if you aim like around this pillar and you run throw forward, the flash goes so far when it pops that if your jet updrafts here, it doesn't get him. And you can also ulti, why not? Uh, <laughs> so basically, yeah, the flash pops behind the pillar. If jet updrafts, it doesn't get him, gets the enemies up there. So it's pretty free fights for him or they like get half flashed. Either way, it's an advantage for your jet. Um, so yeah, the way you do this one, you just gotta run uh, as the round starts and you throw in this direction. It's nothing special, you just gotta make sure that when you throw it, you are past this. Otherwise, it might get your jet as well. So this is basically all the basic stuff from spawn. Um, you also have a pop flash from here. You go anywhere between these two. And uh, aim basically up here. Doesn't matter really where. And it's gonna pop above pipes. This is also good if your teammates wanna fight pipes or if you wanna get some picks. Um, but then flash I also use here, although this one grips my teammates more than not, you just throw it above pipes and it might catch anybody off guard, uh, just to get them off these angles, it's already pretty strong, because Icebox is such a, 
map that you basically want to get people off the strong angles, which are top Jenny, top King, top Ness, top uh, Rafters. You want to force them off, so no matter what utility you use, as long as you get them off of those, it's going to make your life super easy. So you don't have to clear everything with Sova and everything uh, by trading, and it's just going to make your life like a lot easier. Uh, the knife I use is either in pipes, or you jump and throw it like this, lands in Nest. Uh, these are the most common knives for me. Uh, if I want isolated information, you, you can also throw it like, like here. It's gonna get you the right side of the site information. But I usually want to use my knife for suppressing, not for information, because you usually combine KO with Sova on this map. Um, so these are basically all of the utils that I use towards A. Um, did I forget anything? I don't think so. So yeah, this is basically everything towards A. There's also this knife you might want to use towards middle. You just throw it up there. Gets kitchen, might get somebody orange, you can maybe suppress a killjoy, get a timing on the alarm but or a turret, or if you want to split on B or on middle. So this is the orange one. You can also stand here at the beginning of the round if you want to get boiler in the kitchen, but it's not that great for boiler unless you throw it from here. So this is a little less convenient. This is basically all the lineups I have for uh, knives. When it comes to flashes, you can also play for post plant here. You basically go between this gap and you aim in in between this this one is gonna get a perfect pop flash for yellow it pops right here so if anybody is here like for example your jet plays right like this or your whoever teammate plays like right here the flash pops here behind them he just swings with it they're all full blind there's no way in hell they dodge that flash unless they're anti-flash um so yeah this is basically the one for yellow you can also use this one for uh, default you just stand anywhere in this area and aim at this snow here make sure you don't aim too far uh, to the right otherwise it's gonna bounce off this uh, so basically yeah, the same with the edge of the snow, this one should get in front of sight, for example they tap the spike, you flash, you can also swing yourself with it, it lasts long enough. So these are basically all the lineups that I use, there's nothing really special to grenades, you can also bounce it just right here, it's gonna get on default if, you know, trigonometry doesn't work you, so yeah, just anywhere on the edge. See, I'm special like that, this, this is talent, you cannot make this up. <laughs> so yeah, this is anywhere off of these ledges should, should be landing on this. Or you can even try to bounce it off of the box, it's gonna land up here. Or again, it's gonna bounce like this because it's me. But uh, <laughs> other than that, you should be fine. You can also try to use knives like this if you wanna wing them. Uh, this is super hard to break. And if you wanna flash through Viper Roll, which is usually gonna be like this, you just basically ping a spot, like you ping at the bottom of the wall. And if you see, okay, this is 20 meters, you step a little back. It's 22, maybe 23, and you just throw a flash. And it's gonna go through for sure, because it flies 25 meters. It's gonna be also super hard to dodge. So this is basically most of the stuff you do as KO. So the, the main focus I have when I play KO on Icebox is the enabling my teammates. I'm not really trying to fight as much as I do on other maps. Uh, I wanna use my utility as much as I can when I fight. Uh, that's basically the whole point of picking KO, otherwise you're better off with Sage. Uh, so the only reason like why I re really like playing KO here is you know to help my teammates to play around them and being as selfless as possible. So just be a good teammate, come a lot, try to work everything with your teammates or you're gonna have a rough time playing KO on, on Icebox. He's not really a map made for him, but if you perfect him, he can be really, really valuable. Uh, this is basically concluding my guide for Icebox. It took me a million years to make. I don't know why. <laughs> I'll try to make a lot more guides sooner, so make sure to subscribe. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye!